Hello, today we're looking at Debian 9.6 and it's a beautiful, beautiful release. I'm looking at this release of Debian for a couple of reasons. First of all, Debian for me is the big daddy of Linux. Yes, we got Arch, we got so many standalone distros which make the whole Linux solar system, if you can call it that, together. But Debian for me is one of the bigger ones because if Debian wasn't in our lives, we would not have had Ubuntu as it is today because Ubuntu is based on Debian and Mint is based on Ubuntu and Elementary OS is based on Ubuntu and if you look at LMDE is based on Debian, Sparky Linux is based on Debian, KDE Neon is based on Ubuntu and all of them deep in its place on Debian. So all of them, if we didn't have Debian, we would have a totally, totally different view of what is Linux. And with that, some of you might think we would have had a much better Linux world or we would have had a worse of no Linux world as when Ubuntu went out to the beginning, they hired some Debian developer. So, yeah, Debian, we would have had a totally different story. And Debian 9, it's, it's already out for a while. It was basically came out when Ubuntu 16.4 came out. And that's already two years ago. Debian Buster is just around the corner. Debian 10. And I will, in this week, look at the testing snapshot of Debian Buster. And we can like compare the two also with, also with one another and see what's the main differences, what is not. But for me, Debian is like one of the special, special operating systems. Super stable. It is odd. Like if, if you go to the GNOME settings, you will see it's still pre a while ago that the GNOME settings have changed. So it's a very old version of GNOME 3.22, but it all works out of the box. Everything is just stable, everything is just running, and that's actually what we want in this month. It's a stable, stable distro. As you can see, you've got your familiar GNOME backgrounds, stunning, and pretty and simple and it all as you can see is it just works as we expected when you install it it's a big installation you only need the dvd one which is already like 3.6 gigabytes there's a few others and when you install it you don't you have to install the virtualbox case additions if you install it in virtualbox and in your software and sources you have to Disable the CD you use for the installation. So those are the things just to look out for, of course. And then, but the files, it's GNOME files 3.22. And so it's not the latest things. You will have Level Office 5, but man, it is stable. And the software center, even though it's old, it works and it's fast. If we go to, let's go to VLC. As you can see. Even though it's old, it is still relevant and I can't wait to come see what I haven't looked at Debian Buster that the stock wasn't yet. I'm going to start to look at it today. But I can just, it is still relevant, the system, even though it's a bit old, everything is a bit old. You can see that they put so much work in to make it stable. And stability is sometimes, for me, more, more relevant than the latest and the greatest fast apps and things. If you have a stable base and that was 
that is what Debian should be. Because if Debian wouldn't be stable, where would all the Debian based distros be? They can't be based on something unstable. And when you use Debian as your main OS stock, you have in mind that this is a stable, stable release. And by, when you do the installation, you can choose between nearly all the desktop interfaces, environments. The stock is GNOME, which we are looking at now, but you can choose basically any one and they are all work out of the box and super sharp and super cool. It's kernel 4.9, so it's a bit old, but it is, as we said, it's all a bit old, but it, it, it is so stable and they put so much work into stable stability. I know I say stable over and over again, but that is what Debian is and that is what it should be because if you have a stable base, if you have a stability which Debian give, Linux would not have been what it is today. Yes, we would have had Arch, we would have had SUSE, we would have had Red Hat, we would have had all of them, but so many people is using Debian based distros and we all would have a different picture than what it is today. And I love Debian and now obviously it is the big daddy of Linux. Thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye.